Today, I want to give you some tips about how to use your quick access toolbar in OneNote. Well, hi everybody, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today, I want to share with you one of the ways that I make my planning a little bit more simplified, and that is by using the quick access bar in uh, OneNote. All right, so let's take a look at our screen, and I want to show you how to use that quick access bar, and I want to show you how to customize it to put your favorite commands up there so that they're just a click away. Okay, so here we are in the computer. I was setting up for the next week uh, in or the last week in May, and I wanted to share with you about the Quick Access Toolbar. If you take a look at my screen here in OneNote 2016, or as they're just calling it now, OneNote, <laughs> Um, you see that I have all of my menus up. So if I go across the top and I look at my home screen, I see all of the commands that are on my home screen. If I look at the insert screen, there are all the commands for my insert screen, draw, history, review, view, help, and tables, since I do have tables in this particular uh, layout, my weekly layout, okay? So you see all of those there. The problem is, for me, is that sometimes all of that menu space takes up a little bit of room where I want to work and I uh, would like to have more of my screen space available. So you can actually go in there and hide those, uh, this menu part if you would like. The way that you do that is you um, right click on the menu bar and it says collapse the ribbon, okay? or you can show your quick access toolbar. Well, first of all, let me show you how to show that quick access toolbar, okay? So one way to do it is to click that show access toolbar. And you'll see up above the ribbon up here, right up next to your search, you see that there's a back button right here. And then there are insert tag and find tags those are two of my favorite things that I have added to this quick access ribbon, okay? There's also a down arrow here that allows you to customize the things that you have on your quick access toolbar. So let's take a look at that. All right, now if you want to add some favorite things, they give you a list of things that people like to put on their quick access toolbar the back button, which I use a lot to get me from one page to the other. You could also do a forward button if you wanted. It's not something that I really do. Um, but this one is something that I would like to have up there. This is the undo button, so that if you make a mistake, you don't have to go to your home um, tab and then, and then do the undo button. So I'm going to click undo and watch what happens in the uh, quick access bar, you're going to see it add that undo arrow. Okay, so now there's your undo arrow. So I have adding my tags. And again, if I click on that, it brings up all of the tags that I have. Okay, I have find tags next to that. This is find tags. And then I've added the undo button. Okay, now there's another one that I want to add up here to the top. So I'm going to go back here to customizing my quick access toolbar and I'm not, not printing, not wanting, I don't want to add favorite pins at this point. What I want to do is I want to look for more commands because what I'm looking for, which is inserting tables, is not on that short list that they give me. Okay. So here again, you see some popular commands that are here and I can quickly scroll through to see if inserting tables is there. Ah, there it is. All right. So if I click that, it's going to add it to my custom toolbar over here. All right. But let's say it's not there. Let me show you instead of looking under popular commands, you can actually list 
all of the commands in OneNote. And when I choose all commands, you see they have a whole long list. Some of these things I didn't even realize OneNote could do. <laughs> but we can scroll down and see uh, we're looking for insert table. Now, I know it was on the, the short list, but I just wanted to show you all of the commands that they list here. And I can scroll quickly from the C's all the way down to, I'll look at insert first. Okay, so here's insert, insert columns to the left, to the right, uh, insert a table. That's the one that I want to add. So I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna click add over here. Okay, now you can also see if I want these in a certain order, there's a little up arrow here. So what I would need to do is, um, if I want insert table to be in front of undo, I can just highlight insert table, click the little up arrow and it will move it up. I can move it all the way to the top if I want, or I can move it back down to the bottom. Okay, I think, um, that I want to put undo as the first one, and then my tags, which I use all the time, find tags and insert table, okay? All right, now if you want to take one of these out, let's say um, I put in, um, the link feature and I add that Okay, and it puts the link feature in there. And let's say after a while, I don't want that and I want to remove it. All I need to do is highlight the word link, come down here to remove, click remove, and you see that it's completely gone, all right? When I say okay, you'll now see up here that my quick access toolbar has the things that I just added. So there's my undo button. There's my tags that was here when we started. There's my find tags and I have my insert table feature. Okay. Now that means that since these are the things that I use most frequently, I can go ahead and hide all of this information here. How do you do that? Well, you simply right click it and you say, um, collapse the ribbon and it goes away, okay? And then you can see here that you still have those menu items. You still have those little tabs at the top. You can click on them and open and bring down all of that information if you want. But when you click off of it, they go away, which is nice, okay? So let's say I am working on my calendar item and I type in something and that's wrong and I want to undo that, I can simply go up here to my quick access toolbar, click undo, and it takes it away. All right. Let's say I have an item that I want to put over here on my list and it is buy uh, stamps for cards and I want to give that a tag. I can go up here to my tags and I can go down here to, to buy and you see that it puts a tag there for me for that. Let's say I'm doing my weekly review and I want to quickly find all of the tags, all of the to-do things that I want to do. I can go up here and click my find tags on my um, quick access toolbar. And all the way over here on the far right hand side, you'll see it builds that beautiful tag summary list for me. Love that. All right, let me go ahead and close that. And I'll show you the last one. Okay, let's say that we want to create a table. I'm gonna click over here off of my planner page and I'm gonna go up here to uh, the insert table. It's gonna come up and ask me how many columns and how many rows. Let's say I want four columns and I want four rows and say okay. And there's my table. Now I can move it to wherever I need it to be and I can start filling it in. It's that easy. I just really love this quick access toolbar up here at the top. And I love the fact that you can customize it to the things that work best for you, the things that you use the most. It really makes OneNote such a joy to work with. Have I told you how much I love OneNote? <laughs> I do all of my planning, all of my organizing. This really is becoming my second brain. It really is 
you know, a trusted place that I can put all of the information that I collect and gather and, and need to keep track of. And it is so easy to find things in OneNote. And having this quick access ribbon bar just makes it that much simpler and gives me that much more room to work. Well, that's it for today. I really just wanted to share with you how to um, customize that quick access toolbar up there at the top of OneNote. Uh, it really is helpful and handy, and I hope you've learned something today. And if you have, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And think about subscribing if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you as part of our community. Leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. and. I'm hoping that you can have a more simplified and organized life through better planning. Until next time, okay, bye.